It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Mission control to Alex. This is Big Papa. Do you read me? Yeah, yeah, my... My mind drifted for a second. So you all moved in? Um, not... not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, 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 they hit it off. Aw, uh, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? I don't know how people math works. He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. No, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like... The concept of just getting a new sister, like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been... Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> Ugh, it's so creepy now to think about. Why? We were babies. It's funny, that's all. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. And if you picked up a complimentary disposable... Uh, so... How do you it's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their way. Yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. Come. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? What radio? That little, you know, the little, it almost looks like a toy. The, uh, oh, oh, you're joking. Just bring it out, will you? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So, tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh! Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see.
Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. The last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. It's like a... No, it's... It's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... Whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen. I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Yeah, I'm sure you miss your friends. Eh, there's not much to miss, to be honest. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this is an improvement. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I heard, um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail? Yeah, well, don't believe everything you hear. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. It's kinda kitschy, right? It's kinda kitschy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, but 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102.3. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea. The USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? Yeah. I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. Named after the Hawaiian governor. Parks and Facilities Office. Ren's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, all right. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Well, we're here. 
Maybe I want to buy an ornament or something. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't, like, security an important thing in military bases? Yes, but apparently the desire to have cheap sex with floozies will overcome all borders. It's the American way. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're impossible to... It's, um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something? She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you'd call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. Man, that woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Yeah? Why wouldn't I be? If you're happy, you're happy. Why would you move? Yeah. Why would you? Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... Alright, so what if I am? I don't know. So what if you are? I guess it's nothing. No big deal. I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want. Forget I said anything. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. Ugh, I'm sorry. We'll stop. Yeah, this'll be fun, don't worry. Even if Alex is a listless drifter ruining her own life. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's... It's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Who's that? That's so there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Right. Relax. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Oh, Jonas is just nervous about moving in with a strange girl in a strange town and fitting in and every stupid cliche you can think of. I'm not... It's not what it was, really. I just like to take the time to make proper introductions, that's all. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. 
Jonas, everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Uh... I did. Ren invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah, I... Hey, what about me? What about you? Oh, I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally, this is like a 20-deep rager, but... Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend. Who didn't think we could make it? Who lost my invitation? Who had to go Faster. on there? We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, I think it's just whatever. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so... Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as No, a we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare, because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait! I want to hear his answer. Uh... Clarissa, come on. You're supposed to ask, like, have you ever stole something? Not super weirdo probing stuff. You ask probing stuff if you play the game right, Alex. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something like... <laughs> Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no. just say so. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... that's all. She's cool. She's... she's just a friend. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Thank you, Clarissa. This All was... right. Great. Let's just move on. Okay. It's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. I just have to think <laughs> about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Okay. Uh, just take it easy, all right? Tis all in good fun. Hey, no partnering up to be pansies. Silence! Okay. 
Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? I'd do Ren. We know each other the best, so it'd be, like, less weird. And you're in a band. Yeah! I knew those bass lessons would come in handy. Which, of course, means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. What a shocker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, it, it just worked out that way, I swear. Yes, I mean, why would you have any control over the words and thoughts coming out of your face? Hey, now, you can't control the sneeze. And I think this falls more in the realm of bodily function. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus man? Clarissa. Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching, I'll admit. Well, wait. What's your worst fear? That Santa Claus is really coming to town. Seriously? Dying with too many regrets, probably? I don't know. That seems reasonable. I kind of get that, actually. Yeah, we're practically sisters. I can feel it. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure? It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm is there, not... like, a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really need to know the situation before. It's What are you talking about? What is this even what does this have to do with anything? Why did your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. But how can we be sure unless you... You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... Let's not stop like this. We should... Like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could. And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Fine. Whatever. Be Miss Pouty on the beach all night if you want. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. I appreciate your permission to be pouty. Thank you. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, I'll push you over. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. Whenever we never talked you're ready. About John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, he, uh, they went to that weird carnival. So, the <laughs> how cave, you get Jenny out of what's the your house? bets? On a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? I don't know. A one? Renz pulled me into a closet to look at a broom he swore looked like Abraham Lincoln, so adjust your expectations accordingly. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal, annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. I think you should go for it. Oh, yeah? And girls like to feel... Uh, wanted, you know? 
We want to be romanced. We don't want to play games. Oh, all right. I see where your head's at. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. No, never mind. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. It's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. It must be, uh, like... My running theory has always been like traffic reports from another galaxy, but, you know, if you move around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. <sighs> she should just seriously get over it already. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Huh. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Yeah, it did to me. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. So, yeah, it sounds, uh... It sounds... like, painful. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. I called No, her. I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there, like... A giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> oh, boy. If it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute. Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here. Because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic.
Jonas, are you alright? Shout if you're, like, bleeding or something. I bring an ashtray down here or a pen. See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. Are you okay? Jesus, you scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me! I had no idea where you were! I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here, but... You know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. It's crazy. No, it's, uh... it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. Maybe it is someone. You ever think of that? Maybe it's the crazy guy who lives here and he's gonna eat out our stomachs. <laughs> well, where is he then? In which of these tiny air holes does he hibernate? <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others, and if it's not, we'll just leave. What is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are... What? Wow, how is that... Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? No, where? It's like in the... the air, right there. It, it must be like a... like a rainbow, or like a reflection of light? Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave, triangle rainbows? Sure, why not? Let's go with that, for the time being. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Really? You think? Definitely. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Alex, really, I want to see what it's going to do. Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Should... Should I stop? No! This is awesome!
Jonas? Hello? Here. Hello. Every line in. Uh, hi? Sleepy. Time. Yeah, everything. Fine. Loading. There. Same. Don't know. If. Leave. Is possible. This is insane. Uh, who... Are, are you... Who are you on the... Listen. Bob 2. She? 2. Sleepy. Time. Time. Yeah. Is. Leave. Possible. Uh, maybe? But I, I don't really... Bob 2. Leave, children. Bye. Others. See you soon. Alex! What? Alex! Alex! Alex? Are you okay? You alright? I thought you were- <sighs> What happened? That is a very good question. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever, like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of pooped itself. Oh, enough for nothing. I'm fine with a little de-pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it, but if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So, if it is, the time- Christ, I'm as freaked out as you are, Jonas, all right? I have a splitting headache and, like, I feel like my fingernails are gonna shoot out of my hands. Mine, too. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Where's everyone else? Ren and Clarissa. I have no idea. I don't know if they even know that anything happened. Harden Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> that would explain why I remember it. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? <sighs> They're just being lame. I can hear Ren now. Let's go to the fort and throw rocks at walls. Great. <sighs> it's locked. Let me try. What exactly can you do except jiggle it more? Oh, you'll see. What's the expression? Skills of a misspent youth? That's not an expression. A little help? Just have a little faith. See? Oh my, and me without my camera. Oh god, shut up. Uh, SOS? Mayday, mayday, um, CQD? CQD? 
Come quick. Danger. It's... um... dead. Did you get anyone? I think someone was there, but I don't know. Warning, do not use aboard ship. Unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. <sighs> you don't have to make me feel better about getting you trapped on Horror Island. Horror Island? Sounds a little different than what we're on right now. Why would you think I said Horror Island? Um, I don't know. Fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Come on, don't you trust me? The light turned off. I trust you to, like, not hurt me on purpose or anything, but, you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. <sighs> ah! Jesus! Hello? Alex? Alex? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ, thank Vishnu. I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> it's still funny. Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's, it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at, uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like, just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON Fuchsia level terrible ever since you went into the cave. Ren, but are you alright? Like, physically alright? Because I know mentally you're no, probably... No, I'm not alright! I mean, do I sound alright or do I sound not alright? I probably sound not alright, right? Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something, or they do like check-ins maybe? Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And Jonas is with you. Of course he is. Okay, look, Clarissa. Ren's on the other line and sounding like he's about a stub toe away from a total collapse, so if you're at least holding it together, Wait, wait, then... wait, I... I'm at Fort Milner, and I can't... I don't remember, like, the last hour, and it's, like, really scaring the crap out of me. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay. I just want to get no, out... No, just come here instead. Fort Milner's all the way on the other side of the island. Yeah, I know it is, Alex, but why would I go to the comm tower when there's a working radio that we can use to get help here? Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Ren, are you still there? Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. So, want a truck over to Milner first? See about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but... Gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Ren sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest and nab Ren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Ren needs us more. And he'd kill me if he knew we went to see Clarissa first. Sound logic. Right, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. Yeah, righteous.
How are you, uh, doing? I'm fine, I guess. Why? Uh, cause everything's crazy, you know? So, just making sure your shoes are still on your feet. They are. They are. How are you? Uh, could be better, but we'll get through this and on to bigger and better? Good talk. I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a, like a genuine forest. It's like trees. What's the matter? Not the outdoorsy type? Well, if it's in a city with concrete and a little open all-night pancake place, then yeah, I'm outdoorsy in that I'm outdoors. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We do know where we're going, right? Yeah, of course. It's just over the river and through the wood, like the song. Yeah, but in the song, the horse knew the way to carry the sleigh. Through the white and whatever snow, I think. Yeah, and in this particular scenario, I'm the noble steed who will lead us merrily to Grandmother's house. And Grandmother being... Being Ren. Right. You know, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park, or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt... Oh, Jesus, what are you doing jumping across that? There's another... there's like another way down here. Look, <sighs> Jonas, I do like a million jumping jacks a day. This is nothing. Oh, I didn't realize. Sorry. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered the danger of... Whatever's happening right now. But, you know, everything's got something. Yeah, we once had a mall Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened. Well, I mean, to be fair, that does sound pretty scary. Um, why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made, like, just like a normal bridge? With wood and slats? It's not a cable car, it's a bridge ferry. Bridge ferry? Yeah, it's kind of neat, right? It's like going on a gondola ride. It looks less than welcoming. Or at least it doesn't look very inviting. Or... I don't know. I think we have to. Oh, come on. It's the woods. There has to be, like... I don't know, other dirt we can walk on to get to Ren. Power Transfer Station 167. Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it, right? Uh, maybe there's no need? Like there's nothing here to steal or something? All right, I'll go with that just because... What else am I going to do? Being terrorized on an island by unseen forces really makes you miss television. Well, maybe if we get the power working, you can catch up on the soaps. I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is, beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. Terrific, you'll be my supervisor. Supervisor Jonas. So what does it say to do? Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens, you know... That's very sweet. <sighs> really, but I'm not the type of sister you need to throw your coat on the puddle for, okay? Okay. It's your barbecue. 
if you're gonna... Uh, what did you flip? Because it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. I flipped the... Uh, it's the only one, Jonas. What other switch could I even flip? Oh, good point. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? We might have just broken it. Ever think of that? I did think of that, but it's not like it's our fault the door slams shut, so I don't know. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. It's... <sighs> I can't believe this. It's locked now. <sighs> it's okay. We'll just... There's got to be a way to turn the power on still. That's... that's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. Was that there before? Was it? I don't think so. Alex, are you all right? Ah! Alex! <laughs> Not funny. Not funny. Opposite. Total opposite of funny. Look up, whatever that is, unfunny. It says it's the, I don't know, Catbird Station? And the call sign is weird, 60.8? The dial doesn't go that far. Huh. Would have been better had it never been found. For all into such X six. Well, how do you know you're Bobby Dunbar? I know who I am. Makes a difference. Dax six. Well, how do you know you're Bobby Dunbar? I know who I am, and I know who you are, and nothing else makes a difference.
What a night, huh? Uh, yeah, sorry about this. No, no, I'm not, um, I'm not saying it like it's anyone's fault. It's nobody's fault. It just happened. Stuff happens. If I hadn't brought the radio and hadn't tuned it into that, whatever. No, don't say that. Well, actually, you saying that saves me from saying it, so thank you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I kid, I kid. Humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. Praise the Lord. Well, when you look at that, it didn't collapse. That's one good thing that happened tonight. So you're saying you were expecting it to? I half was, but it didn't. So, you used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island, I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. Yeah, with my brother. With Michael, yeah? Like with your mom and dad, or? Sometimes mom and dad, but Mostly just him and me. Oh, well, that's cool. Like he's, like he'd be babysitting you and he'd bring you out here? That's nice of him. He could have just stayed home, you know? It wasn't like, he wasn't being forced to watch me. We were family. There's like a loyalty there. He's not, he wasn't being paid five bucks an hour. Oh, I mean, I didn't mean, yeah, yeah, of course. Some people camp here, but it's weird. I, I don't know why they just leave their tent. Looks kind of dumpy, like, I don't know, like it's been abandoned. Yeah, I can see this place being cool, like in the summer, or even in the spring. You got the park, you got the main street shops. Yeah, well, after tonight, douse it in gasoline and light a match. I am never coming back here again. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. Uh, do you ever get deja vu? I feel like, like, didn't we just walk through here? Huh. That's funny. I, I don't think we have. Okay, yeah, tonight's like being trapped in a nightmare zoo. But I don't know. You have memories here, right? Jumping off the diving board with little Janie and eating ice cream with little Franklin. Stringing Christmas lights. <laughs> what? All I'm saying is, before tonight, this was a pretty cool place. And you did stuff here, and it's a part of you, you know? It's a part of you. And I just wouldn't want our first night out to, you know, wreck all of that. For, like, forever. I just wouldn't want that. I think it'd, like, genuinely depress me. Ugh, oh, fine. I won't hold it against the island, or whatever. I won't hold it against you or the island. I'll keep my memories. Happy? Actually, I am. Thank you. Wait, wasn't this... <sighs> we passed this a minute ago, right? And it wasn't burning? I, am um, honestly don't remember.
you used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. We have definitely been here before. This is weird. What's weird? Because I don't remember any of this. We're... I think we're going in circles. We've seen these same damn trees, like, I don't know how many times now. We just got off the tram thing, Alex. This is all new, so, I mean, what are you saying? <sighs> are we lost? Or is it something else? I mean... Whatever we did or opened in the cave must have, like, screwed up something or... I don't know. I don't want to say, like, time, because that sounds insane. Well, it's more than a little troubling that I can't tell besides a uh, headache I've only just noticed, but okay, let's deal with this now, sure. This is, uh, new. Ah, oh, it's, it's kind of weird. I had the exact same kind when I was a kid. Yeah, why would a toy company make two, right? Oh, love the jokes. Keep it up. See what happens. Take that, ball. Um... What? So, it's just... I'm taking a picture of the ball moving, not your kicking, just so you know. to know where this is going uh okay i'd i'd like to know where this is going maybe don't antagonize whoever okay i think they have a sense of humor hey come on <laughs> oh my god Alex. This is crazy. Alex, I think we're dealing with ghosts. Just a hunch. Oh, yeah. What tipped you off? The messages, the ball, or maybe it was the ghost. The ghost that just burned itself into the rock? Yeah, that. Jonas! Jonas, where... Where are you? Whoa, wait, what... what's happening? to break up with Clarissa. It's for the best. What are you? What's... Wait, wait. We've done this before. Oh, really? Again? It's all right. We must have just missed... um... something. Are you... Can you kind of remember more now? It's starting to stick. Yeah, I mean, it's still sort of foggy, but whatever, I'll deal with it. Huh, this look... It's like super old, but man, it's almost spotless. It's one of those, um, magnetophones, I think they're called. You know, I didn't realize I felt like a pressure in my head until right now. Maybe doing that fixed the loop. But whatever you did helped something, I think. Yeah, but making it sound right did what? I... I don't know, but it's like my allergies cleared up or something. Let's just keep going and get Ren.
So, having fun yet? I'm so glad our families are uniting, Alex. This will be a grand adventure for the two of us. Unless we die. Unless we die, yes. What do you think they want? The, uh, the ghosts. Do they have to want anything? Just most of the time, don't they like... I mean, isn't that why they're trapped here or whatever? Because they didn't do something they needed to in life, or...? I don't think our previous knowledge of movies and comic books applies here, really. But fine. I just hope they want to, like, play soccer every once in a while, and that's it. Chimo, Thresher, Peterhoff, Arizona. Dog Niner. Oh, <laughs> I remember this. The two Jacks carved their, uh, Jack Mitchell and Jack Ladd, they used to hang out together all the time. And they carved their names into this bench on a school trip once. You don't care, do you? No, please, keep going. Okay, on another school trip, they- Stop. <laughs> uh. Is that Nona? Don't, don't, okay? Just don't move, okay? Don't come anywhere near me. Nona. Just don't move. Nona, come on. It's us. You can see it's us. It's me and Jonas. This night has turned banana bread really fast. And I'm seeing things and forgetting things. And I bumped into you once already. And it was horrible. So we're gonna... We haven't... It, this is the first time we've seen you since the beach. Be that as it may... I've seen an Alex. So, just look. You're not gonna talk about my grandfather. You're just gonna stand there, politely, and tell me if you've seen Clarissa. Cause I've been looking. Clarissa's No, no, we haven't. But we, uh, we're actually, we're looking for Ren right now. So, have you, have you maybe seen him? No, not Ren. Okay, well... Hey, listen, Nona. You should come with us. That way we're not all, you know, separated. I'm not going anywhere with you. All right, okay, hey, I get it, I do. I'm jumpy right now, too, but can you do just me a... hold up a second, Nona, okay? Yeah, can you just do us a favor? Can you just, can you go to the comm tower and wait for us? We got the lights on there, and it seems pretty safe. No, Nona, you should really come with us. It's better to stick together. 
better for who? Nona, come on. For you, who do you think I'm talking about? No. <sighs> and the comm tower is where? It's the cloud buster at the edge of town. Can't miss it. And you. You're really you? Really? Yeah, Nona, it's me, Alex. All right, bye. That girl's a peach. Hey, just for me, I want to know. Back at the bridge, why'd you flip the switch yourself? You could have let me do it. I'm just curious. Uh, I just wanted to see what would happen, to be honest. All right. Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Like, nobody's going anywhere. Doesn't the whole thing just go in a circle? Um, this was a... A mining island before the war and the land you know as you can tell it wasn't really conducive to most different ways of transport so they dug into the hills and laid down tracks and carted the coal by freight to the um the pier for the boats can i ask you something <laughs> yeah of course you think i'm kind of a slacker idiot right like i wouldn't find any of this stuff interesting Jonas, I think you're smart. Come on, what are you talking about? Hmm, I don't know. I just sometimes get these, like, whiffs of... I don't know. I can't think of the word for it. Oh man, thank God. I thought you were a werewolf. Why would we be a werewolf? I've convinced myself that's the issue here. <sighs> good to see you're okay. It's bad out there. No, I'm good. I'm just glad you're here. Do you have, like, any idea what's going on? Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Damn it, I think we're... We're looping again. Oh. Oh, really? Man, it's kind of weird that you can tell when it's happening and I can't. I mean, right? I mean, it's not like... I mean, I'm glad someone can tell, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'd be worried about it if I were you, because believe... There's your boy. Hey, Ren! We made it, finally. Um, Ren? Ren! Seriously, Ren, you can have a drug freak out on your own time. I don't have the patience to worry about you right now, so come on, look alive here. What's he doing? Is he, like, sleepwalking? I don't know how he, like, fell asleep during all this, but... I've seen sleepwalking, okay? Michael sleepwalked, and the worst he'd do is take his pillow into the hallway. This is, like, something else. Ren, are you in there? Come on, pal, the neighbors are here and they want to borrow some sugar. This isn't a guy on drugs. Not that I want to, like, alarm you. Ren! I hope you have a plan B. I don't know if you 
remember, but the last time we got stuck, we used one of these things to get out of it, so I'm not just messing around right now. Yeah, I remember, I remember. Kind of. Hey, where'd Ren go? He was standing right there. I thought... I thought this would have fixed it. Like, last time, didn't it? The time stuff? Yeah, I mean, I think... I, I think it did. I don't feel as foggy. Ren must have used this to call us. Oh, it looks smashed. Um... Crap. I don't... Maybe we shouldn't, um, go near him? Ren, can you... Can you hear me? I mean, I know they say don't move somebody with a spine injury, but it's like... We gotta do something, right? Uh, this is a little different than a trampoline accident. He's, like, turning into the star child. I know, it's different. I know it's different. I'm just saying we should do something. I don't know what, but something. Ren, are, are you... Oh, God. Talk through, child. Feels. Stretched. Better. No. Want. Hard. To. Say. Me. Relief. Please. Powder. But. Do not. Needs to. Do. Our dolls would. Never. Plot. Us. We're we're stuck here and we just want to go home. Home. Kamina. We will go home. All of us. Leave. Possible. I I I don't know what you mean, so I can't. Grounded. Bye. Adler. So uh, Margaret. Pretty. Little. Poppy. Peggy Adler, that old woman? What does she have to do with anything? That old woman was young once. We were young once. Sit still. Bear fruit. Tag. You guys? God, Ren! Man! My heart's going like a hummingbird in a... in a car or something! You're alive! I am? I am! Well, why was that a question at first? Why? Why is this... why? Actually, thanks for coming, by the way. Sure. Why is this happening? I mean, I've been here. 
I visited this place like 15 times. And before now, the worst thing that ever happened was like, a kid would lose his shorts to the undertow. We're in big trouble, Ren. Really big trouble. We need to call somebody or get a boat, but we need to get out of here. It's ghosts. She doesn't want to say it, but it's ghosts. And you were possessed by one. <sighs> that doesn't... That doesn't seem like it'd be part of a healthy lifestyle. Guys, anyone? Is this thing working? Oh. If anyone can hear this, out there, in a whatever, I I'm at the con tower on Edwards Island. Hey, she listened to us. Great. So, if anyone can... What is this? I I'm trying to communicate with the... Does she know how to even work that stuff? Doesn't sound like it. Ugh. Can't, like, anyone work a two-way radio? Didn't everyone have that, like, one trucker uncle who let them work the CB a few times for fun? Guess not. So, are we going back to the comm tower for Nona, or... Uh, we should round up Clarissa at Fort Milner first. Look, we'll split up. You guys do that, and I can go tend to the lovely damsel distressed in the old tower. I wish you wouldn't put it that way, but... Can you even make it there? Can I even make it there? Well, you did just have a specter wearing you like a suit. And all that's left is little indigestion. I'll be fine. All right. Well, guess we're going that away. So we'll see you at the comm tower. Hopefully with Clarissa. Don't do anything stupid. Not a problem. Milner Ho. Milner Ho. What is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded sort of scared. Like in dire straits, actual trouble right now scared? Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition of trouble there is, so... Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned, and there's, like, still people, like, in there, like, doing stuff? What are you even talking about right now? Just, what if all the stuff that's, like, happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing, is, like, the direct result of some government secret project? Like, what if there's some, um, experimental, uh, program or something? Secret project? Like what? They finally harnessed the power of- Mind control. Yeah, mind control. And they've, um, made a mind control machine and, um, and we've all been suffering like a collective mirage. That's not that far-fetched. Yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it? If none of this has happened, it's just some kind of fever dream from an experimental acid trip bomb. I don't know about great. But it'd be nice to know. It's like... It's not locked. There's, like, something blocking it. Clarissa! She wouldn't have barricaded herself inside, right? Hey, what do you think? Keep looking. I think... We should keep looking. You're probably right.
Dinner time. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Alright, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the door. Sure. Photography prohibited. That is a very serious sign. Restricted, keep out, and oh, they're not messing around. Does the fine print say something about... Yeah, that sign's old. Like, back when we were fighting Nazis, old. Still, it's a little disconcerting. See that sign? They were originally going to make this whole place into a museum, but quit halfway through. It doesn't look very, uh, safe, so I can understand why. I wonder... Fort Milner was the home of the U.S. Army Radio Communications School, which saw more than 100,000 students take its curriculum. During the years it was open, the school trained troops from the various armed services in applied oral communication, radio and TV broadcasting, telecommunications, and what was then state-of-the-art techniques in code breaking using an early form of computer technology. The school was moved to Fort Baxter in Southern California when the post closed in 1974, and it still resides there to this day. Fort Milner was the home of the U.S. Army Radio Communications School. Spooky. Yeah. You ever fired a gun? No. Never really wanted to either. Yeah, me neither. My grandfather had a up no centennial even small they're heavy i never liked it No, 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 no. Don't be locked. Come on. Well, we didn't really need to go back anyway, right? Unless there's no way out, then yes, we might have. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? It really wasn't. I mean, yeah, it was like for a few months, but, you know, that's nine weeks in the scheme of things. I've had rashes that lasted longer. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just trying to... I'm trying to picture it. What sort of thing? What do you mean? You know, like, intense, I guess is the word I'm trying to find. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? Just, what would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start, there must have been something, right? It's not a trick question, Jonas. She's been the homecoming queen every year since she grew boobs. And he'd been the captain of every sports team he'd ever played on. It was practically an arranged marriage. Huh. Okay. It's just, uh, interesting, I guess, to me. Oh, are you, like, into her? 
No, not at all. Too bitter. Okay. But you can tell me if you are. That's what step siblings are for. Storing embarrassing secrets. I'm not, but thanks for offering to be my shame vault. Ah, <sighs> can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kinda I don't know. Kind of morbid. Yeah, it's it's just strange to see it like this. In the daytime, this is pretty much skater mecca. I can tell. Stuff like this, I always thought it was pretty. Kind of like, I don't know, kind of like the buildings being reclaimed by the trees and the soot and the soil, you know? Well, right now it just looks like scary tentacles, so... It's got a padlock. You can't pick this one, can you? No, we'd need like bolt cutters or something. Or the code. Hey, that's... Clarissa! Clarissa, hold up! Jonas, what happened? Are, are you alright? Jonas, are you okay in there? Testing, testing. Um, okay. I can't... I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then, second of all, I can't get out. Uh, yeah. Hold on. I'll check. I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird lock here. Does anything out there explain what this is? I'm okay. You know, I thought it was dark out there. But let me tell you, when you're trapped in a broom closet, it gets a lot darker. You know, I never wanted to be a DJ. And this isn't really enticing me to start, but I can sort of see the appeal now, you know? But I'd be a horrible talk radio guy, like just giving opinions. I wouldn't know what to say, really. I wouldn't want to do it anyway. It'd be like a slow, horrible death by anxiety or something, talking to all those listeners. And they have to get up at like 3 a.m., right? Those guys, those those talk radio guys, to start at like five. I'd be I'd be like the late night, like the the late night old. Hello, are you? Look, is someone there? When Jonas gets on your uh, case about his mom, just do what you feel is best, okay? What? What is this? What is this? What does this mean? Who who are you? Okay, what just happened? Cause that that sucked. Are you okay? A little shaken up? Well, we blew past nap time a while ago, but yeah, I'm actually better than fine. Oh, here's the code for the, uh, for the padlock. 3418. It's on a list of, huh, they call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I, did, did you see that? In, in the mirror? The reflection was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now. It seems all right now. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't anything. Yeah, I'm not sure about that.
radio locks. <laughs> the technology here has always been... It's like primitive and from the future. Yeah, no, it's something. Is this what you were talking to me on? Yep. Old girl did the trick. You think maybe uh, Clarissa was using this before? You know, to call us and everything? I guess there might be another comm room or something. Yeah, lines up, I guess. But she's still been transmitting, so she must still be in here somewhere. And it didn't happen, so let's just carry on. Oh, I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So, actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I thought I'd... Oh my god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. This is... If the knight needed a capper, this is it. Right here. My vagrant new stepbrother. Peeing on a rat. Don't look at me. Clarissa! Okay, that was definitely her. What is she... Is this just like a game to her or something? What is she thinking? I mean, I'm freaking out too, but like... Relax, honey. This might be like a Nona situation where she's just... Uh, losing it a bit. And you know, it just occurred to me, she could also be having like a Ren episode. A Renisode. Possessed, or whatever we want to call it. Actually, it's kind of obvious that that's what's probably happening, isn't it? Wasn't it in House on the Haunted Hill where that possessed guy walked into a vat of blood? I really don't know. Hello? Is this thing... is this... God, is this... is this going out or... Wait, I can... Ugh, I can hear myself, that's oh, not... man, maybe God, she didn't see anybody... us. I don't know, but... Whatever, she still has a radio, so we still gotta get to her. are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. I really have no idea. Well, you really couldn't just say your friends do this for my own peace of mind? What was that? You... you heard that, right? Something just fell. Relax. I'm sure a bird landed on a piece of loose masonry or something. Probably. 
It's not opening. <sighs> Clarissa! I'm worried. Something must be really wrong. Clarissa's a lot of things, but she wouldn't do whatever this is. We can't leave until she shows us where that radio is. I know it's annoying, but it's our only hope for getting us out of here so far. High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. It's one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey, kids, want to play a game? Uh. What is it doing? Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was just like a, a fort. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. U.S. Army... Radio Communication School. That's the stuff, Charlie. Now you're swinging. It all goes into your final rating. You want to get a good rating, don't you? You want to be a good soldier? Why the hell would we want to be a good soldier? Why do you care what I want or don't want or anything? I didn't come here for this. Yeah, we really, really didn't come here for this. Why should we care? They didn't care. Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Ugh, I feel like I'm stuck on a tilt-a-whirl. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who Ten. would know that? This isn't World War Nine. II. Nobody calls anything anything Eight. anymore. You'd call codes cookies? Fair. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Okay, look. Is this a trick? Is whatever I'm gonna say gonna bite me in the ass no matter what? Because if that's the case, then... Watch your language, young lady. There's no room for sass in the armed forces. Oh, screw you! This is... We are an island race. And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. But be wary, young ones. Jonas, are, are you, uh, doing okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencil's ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. Nine. Other ships, other Nine. Ships Above all Eight. victories, beyond all loss. Seven. In spite of changing values of the Six. changing world. Five. Eighty-five? Correct. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers, twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many.
The United States submarine Kanaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Kanaloa was lost today, lost at sea, near... Is this... Are you the dead officers that sunk on the Kanaloa? We are uh, sunken. What... what do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Time. Just... Time. What? I... That was... Not fun. Are you... Feeling... Better? I'm feeling... Let's start with that. This has been United News. And thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Anyone? Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. Clarissa's asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Um... Uh, huh? your fingers uh, Clarissa oh well look at this the super twins decided to grace me with their presence I thought maybe I wasn't good enough for a house call doctor um, are you all right I mean yeah why yeah sure my hair might be a little weird but there's not a lot I can do about that you just sounded really distressed that's all well I mean I don't know I'm fine now so all right, where's this famous radio? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, 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 isn't there... Any These officers who know your problems full and well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Jonas, wait, we're in another... You got looped again. Crap. Well, just keep me in the loop. I didn't mean to say that. Clarissa! Is there anything, like, can we cut her down with something? <sighs> Holy crap. What is it? Is something wrong? Or not? Whew, just brace yourself, okay? All right. Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Marissa. <sighs> oh, maybe this was the the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to, I mean, she got it to kind of work, so. Yeah, it it only broadcasts within the within a short space. It's not going to do what we need it to. Really? How do you know? Jonas, we're in a loop. You already just it's okay. Knock yourself out. Clarissa. Clarissa, it's us. It's Alex. Are you okay? Alex, don't worry. She's like. I can never forget she's that like I am an American. Fighting what for is she freedom. doing? There will be other ships and other souls to sail them. Oh my god! Why would she do that? Why would she do that? We're, we're, we're not. It's not like we're. She, she was, she was like possessed. I, I, I just, I, I just, uh, this is, Jonas, this is so horrible. I don't, I don't even know what to, we, we should get to the others. I, I can't even imagine telling them, or, 
or how to tell them I'm telling them I just want to we have to round them up before anything else before anything like this like I don't e I don't even know what happened here Jonas if it's if they're thinking of doing the same thing we'll we'll figure it out this is unbelievable she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. We both saw what happened. That Wait, was... Wait, she, she's... Uh... I can't think of the appropriate word here. Dead? The word is dead. She should be dead, Alex. I watched her. There was no breaking that fall, so... How'd she walk away? This isn't possible. Because unless she's built of rubber... Hallucination? Dual hysteria? I, I don't... I don't know, Jonas. Well, regardless... Good news... Yeah, we'll see. <sighs> Let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at anything. Tower. Just where did Clarissa hobble off to? Let's talk to Ren and Nona before we try and find her, cause, like, I don't know, maybe they know something we don't. Hey! Hey! I... I saw you guys coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me. It's all I have left. Anything uh, good to report? Besides that you're still alive, which I'm glad. You know, don't get me wrong. Thanks. Um, yes, I am still alive. But, uh, no. Other than that, no. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope. No luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was going to be a big karma dump. I found like 50 bucks in the street, and I knew who it belonged to. And I Well, only... we're all here now. Well... I mean, except Clarissa, but we're mostly all here, and we'll come up with something. I hope so. The stupid radio's been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing its thing. Wait, second brownie? Ren, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? Mmm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down, it brings you up. Uh, fine. If that's what it takes to get you through the night, then okay. Great. I don't need it. I just needed it now. Oh, God.
This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. We heard you on the squawk box. When I tried it, I just got static and a, a weird sound, so... That's about all that I'm getting. Uh, sorry I was, like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been, like, out there. Uh, yeah, we have. Nona, it's sort of really complicated. It's okay. The Blue Streak version is its ghosts. That's all. That's what's going on. Ghosts are going on. Ghosts? Really? Yeah, and it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. Oh, oh, I got it. This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay, so I ate, like, two brownies. Yeah, well, and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but... What other plan is there, really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. Wait, set fire to the mug shop? I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Jonas, you know we tuned into that thing. We kicked the door open to whatever this is. Oh, give me a break. This night is like a... It's like a giant, ugly, misery stew that Ren's clearly been the chef of. That's for... What does that even mean? Guys, come on. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows she can trust me. Guys, you know there's no television cameras here, right? Take the energy down a notch. Alex, I am not putting my life in his hands. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. I know you said Ren is like harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be too. I don't need a pass from you. Alex is my best friend. Yeah, and she could hardly muster two silk- Don't suck me into this tornado of- of whatever is happening right now. Just guys, please stop. We can, we can fight on the way home. After we get the boat. And I guess if that's even what we're doing. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. She's fine. She's been using that thing like a machete the whole night. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You, uh... Meathead? I'm... Just shut up! Both of you! Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Oh my god. Or your new psycho stepbrother. Nona? Wanna come with me? What? Really? I mean... I guess... Why this are you isn't... making me shack up with it's this guy? It's my friggin' been plan! Together the entire it's only night. my idea! Why switch it up and then now? You... Why? <laughs> this is why. Easiest question I've been asked all night. This is a total punt, Alex. Yeah, this no, is it's fine. This will be a good... If you don't want to take sides, don't take sides. But no, nobody's happy with this. Uh. Hey, Nona's happy. You're happy, right? Um, sure.
Now, don't get depressed and eat any more brownies, okay? I still need you tip-top, all right? Good luck with the thing, Alex. Look, just go easy on Ren when we get back, okay? He's fragile. He has like a squirrel heart. I'll see you when you get back, Alex. You know, I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. You sit in the, uh, back, behind Jake. I just forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, it's, it's nothing to be sorry about. I don't talk all that much, so I don't know why you remember me. I'm also just, like, never there. It's a loophole where, I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch, you get a detention, and if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But suspensions are like paid vacation, you can just do your work over. So... It's like, what's the point? Ah, nice. Good tip. Thanks, I'm gonna use that. Yeah, of course. Oh, and don't tell anyone, but my birthday's in three days, and I'm having a thing, and you're invited. I think Clarissa's out of town, so it shouldn't be a problem. Why didn't you tell us? We could have made this more of a... You know, a, a birthday thing instead of just a beach bash or whatever. I, d I don't even know why I mentioned it now, really. That's not true. I was thinking about, uh, well, I'm worried about Clarissa and... Well, I was thinking about my last birthday when... No. Actually, sorry, never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just in a fog right now. It's okay, it's fine. We're all kinda in a daze right now. I just hope she's okay. That's all. We'll find her, Nona. I'm not leaving without her. Ugh. Yeah, I know. famously named after Colonel Caleb Edwards for his glorious and triumphant slaughtering of countless families during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for destined holders is a time-honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Do not resist. It will be over soon. <laughs> This early 
version of what would today be considered a blast and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. The above ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface, molded with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call and response system, a setup devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation. This early ver- This Data Command Annex, as it had been dubbed, was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed WALL system. A type of radio frequency identification, WALL, standing for Wave Assisted Lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. So, it's the Parks and Facilities Building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yeah, we're... we're close. she get up there? What are you doing? Clarissa, how, how are you, how are you not dead right now? Like swan dive out of a window, empty pool dive, dead. Clarissa, what? Alex, Christ, what's wrong with her? Clarissa, can you, can you hear me? Alex, do you know what's happening? Is she, is she gonna be okay? Clarissa, wake up, fight them off, take control of yourself. Um, hang in there, baby. Alex, uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something? Please, just try anything. Like, uh... Clarissa! 
I can... Uh, I'll try, okay, I'll try. Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Alex, come on, just please try and get her down. At least, please, somehow. Clarissa, can you come down? You think you can control me? Clarissa. I'm... I'm trying to help you. This is... This... Help me. Help me. How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. It... It's helped the others. Ren and Nona, they've gone through this... Gone through what? Their children have gone through nothing. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Man, no, no. What was all that about? I don't know. Clarissa, are you alright? <sighs> you scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Because that didn't look great. <sighs> Do you remember anything that happened? I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. That was a while ago. How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? <sighs> the usual answer to any question tonight has been, I have no idea, and sorry to say, but this is no different. So you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio, and I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Oh, guys, okay, I know you think we're still playing truth or slap or whatever, but this isn't real, so... Well, wait. Clarissa hasn't gotten a chance to ask something yet, so... Yeah, and you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are all screwed. You're not blaming me for this, Clarissa. This is, this is so outside of logic, of reason, of anything that could possibly be anticipated. It's really not her fault, Clarissa. Jonas, I'm sorry, but you don't know who you speak of, dear. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates chaos. She's a storm chaser. Don't listen to her, okay? She's pissed at the world, and she likes to take it out on me, and, and none of what's happening makes any sense anyway. I'm not. It's not no, a... No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit-up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, do you understand who you're living with? Clarissa, just shut up! Look around! We're not at high school where anyone gives a crap about your pet miseries! Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa! Ugh, she is a pox! Jordan. You weren't there! No one was there, so how the hell would you know? Everyone knows. Everyone knows the freak sister who let her brother die while she clung scared to the bowline. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough. Clarissa, that's enough. It's too much right now. I can't, I can't believe, ugh. She Seriously, enough. Nona, don't, just don't think of me like. I don't, just, Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None, but we came here to do a thing and that thing is gonna get us home. So let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you- All the Alex in free. Hey, whoa. Man, do you ever- do you ever get deja vu? Jeez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Boy. Yes, I have gotten and presumably will continue to get deja vu. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like cold mouse feet on your skin or something. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get into is like right there. So let's try and whatever our way in. We're gonna try we're gonna try to get into the office thing, right? To get the key. Yep, this isn't budging. Um I don't know about that. I think yeah 
I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. The lock looks pretty warm. Bust our way through? What is that supposed to mean? I think we should try it. <sighs> Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Nope. Cool. Carry on. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says, they're wall radios? Wave-assisted lock? Whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. It must uh, work. Okay, cool, great. Ooh, wait, wait, here's like a, wait, what is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family or like hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just want to, okay, here. Whom it should concern, this island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What? What could that mean? I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Many truths? Shh. Inside you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt, scavenger hunt! <laughs> wait, wait. To whosoever finds the material, know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time, and truly for the interest of time itself. Margaret Adler. Oh, <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah, we've all had the mechanical unicorn dream, but I think I'm ready just to go home, to be totally face up with you. Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. Huh? I brought the jacket because I like the jacket. And I never said I wanted to go swimming. You just inferred it because I asked when the community pool opens. <laughs> I inferred it? Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait. Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Did I almost step on a crab or something? Where's... where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? I just... <sighs> never mind, I guess. Okay, Clarissa, take a note. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas, so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. <laughs> Noted. Why? How? Why am I here? 
What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knickknack shops or whatever. No, come on, Alex. Relax. We just... No, I mean, in this time period. Ah, oh, jeez. You're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? That's like the worst time. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Uh, yeah, um, it really is kind of ideal, actually. Yeah, I'm like, right about to start sweating, but I'm not. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Truthfully, I've, um... i Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> Can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. So... Uh... <laughs> Do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? I'm bad with... dates. Our whole, like, island horror show. Ghosts and possessions and... And none of this is jarring like anything loose? If this is about Ren's movie, I mean, I told him I didn't want to do it. Half the script was an underwear scene, so, you know, no thanks. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and, like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, um, totally understand. And, yeah, let's, uh, do stuff. You know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? He just, uh, he thinks you're a cool girl. Thanks for uh, telling me. Yeah, of course. Had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Glad you got it back, regardless. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah. Get me a drink, too? Sure. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Things are bad, actually. Mom and Dad aren't great, and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet and Hey, hey, look. First of all, Mom and Dad are... Mom and Dad. They fight a lot, but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. It's gonna be fine. You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. It's not gonna be fine. It's not gonna be fine. I... I know how this goes. I have insider information, let's just call it, okay? Look, just because Janie's parents got a divorce and made poker nights super uncomfortable doesn't mean ours have to too, all right? And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so... Thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just... Don't get all smoochy smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. 
Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alex? Are you... All right, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for ten minutes. I was about to, like, slap you or scream or something. It's been not fun to watch in light of everything. I, uh... I, I don't know. What was I doing? Well, let's see. First you stopped walking, then you started spinning. Slowly, like a dying top. And then you were talking about sandwiches, like in your sleep. I thought, honestly, I was watching your brain melt. Not fun. I... I was? Yeah. It was just like you... you totally lost all your wind. But, I mean, you seem okay now, so let's just get to the gate quick and do this thing and get home. Hey, why aren't you at the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to uh, do the whole thing. But it worked out so great. Some... <sighs> Weird stuff happened along the way, but, I mean, I guess whatever, that's the new normal now. Weird stuff? And we can't find Clarissa, so... she pretty much got transmogrified to someplace else. It's sad that any of those words make any sense to me, but... Yeah, should we maybe look for her, possibly? Even if the boat plan works, we shouldn't leave her here. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? So are you going to try the gate thing, or...? I guess the radio will open this, somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl. Please have a boat, please have a boat, please have a Just boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. Ah, oh, she does have a boat. Yeah, see? Allie knew what she was talking about. She should, anyway. I mean, she had to schlep back and forth here all summer. Oh. Oh, it's like a... It's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No. We looked through all of her stuff, I think. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B if we can't find it? Um, plan B was four hours ago. Keys, they... they have to be in the house. For the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really, but we can try that now if you think it'll help.
it's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back, in the kitchen. Okay. Sure. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise, we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yes, perfect. I don't care what she says, just everyone keep your eye on her. Yeah, I just might climb through the kitchen window again, who knows? Okay, we get it. Haha, -ha, carry on. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then. What do I know? Maybe they needed to chart uh, signals through space or something? Yeah, maybe. How are you doing? How are you doing? Look, Jonas, are we, like, okay? I mean, because of the whole taking not you to town thing. I'm not going to pretend it didn't bother me a little, but it'd be stupid to like, tonight has been bad enough. I'm not going to crab about that. I mean, are you like mad at me or something? No, no, we're, I want to be okay with you. I just, if we keep at each other's throats, I don't know if I'll be able to make it through the night. Me neither. So let's just not be at each other's throats anymore. There, see, easy. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Attics are always a little haunted house spooky, right? It's the tight spaces, the darkness, the spiders, the creaking, and... Well, I'm actually, that about covers it. The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Well, she buried information in sonically camouflaged containers, Jonas. My guess is paranoid. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics and religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of- Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. Ah, <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. Uh, put some clothes on. <laughs> Remember that guy? Where are your parents? Your kids better than... Oh, um, Chad's lake house. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a freaking weirdo. Uh, yeah.
find anything useful? Not yet, but you know, the night is young. So, it's Nona's birthday in three days. Really? Awesome. Yeah, that, that's great. That's great. I can, um, I can really use that. I feel like it's like I'm behind enemy lines with that one. This is perfect. Okay, don't be like a predator now. Just, you know, it's information that I hope you categorize wisely. Got it. Definitely. Categorically wisened. Thanks. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's the combination for the... There's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. 29, 18, 54. Uh, cool? She made a lot of... What should I call these? S slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Are you, um, doing okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah? We're going home soon, so... Yeah, that's true. radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. How does it go? Things are different, except in a different way? <laughs> Just come downstairs so we can get started. Ren, come on, we got a boat to catch, buddy. Nona, can you... can you hear me? Jonas, I, I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Why are you doing this? Th I thought you... You guys were stuck here, or, or that, that this wasn't... You signed up for this, Alexandra. Is possible. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. You walked in here with clear... I meant to know what the hell was gonna happen. And yet, without understanding your footing, you still acted. But don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good-humored as your mother's apple pie. And what if I... 
What if I don't, huh? What if I just stand here and don't go along with this? Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid, but it's your choice. Now, let's start with a softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, 10, 9, 8. Is it, are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models and the x-rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation. in another sense. Pay attention. What are you even talking about? I spy. With my little eye, a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Uh, is it the, the this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round out, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. Five little ducks went out one day. The, the picture of, of, I guess it's Maggie Adler and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing, well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time, and a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. Wait, what? What happens to them after you're absorbed? Their form will exist with us inside. It will be a swap, you see, of essences, I guess you could call them. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. There has to be another way. I mean, just maybe, I mean, maybe I can do something with the radio. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. You don't know what it's been like, but how could you? I don't care about your your time problems. These are my friends you're replacing. And let us share in each other's disregard. When our vessel crashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so are you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. <sighs> so, I'm kind of screwed. Seriously, who are you? Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. 
Carissa? Ah, uh, no. But I wish it was a dream. Usually there's a lot more talking horses. We're in, like, trouble. Yeah. God, that all really just happened? Yeah, <sighs> we kind of really are. So, I mean, Christ. If Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster, so... Clarissa is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah. But how do we do that? Well, uh... Good question. We could... I mean, using the radio to tune into that triangle thing in the cave started it, so I don't know, maybe tuning it differently or something will fix it? Yeah, or if your car's on fire, you can just pour gasoline on it, right? Well, maybe she has a point. Why do the one thing that we know got us all flummoxed again? Look, if Clarissa's in the cave, then we'll have to go there anyway, so we'll put a, a, a pin in it. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right. I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's, uh... It's a Piffany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm sure this is just the, uh, God, oh. it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself? Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, how would she even know this? I don't care how much research she did, this would be out of anyone's realm of expertise. Well, something better work, or... Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait, this is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See, it says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. All right, but come on, Nona, do you honestly believe that the old equipment in either building will still work? It's 
I don't know, but it's the only thing we have so far. And time's a clicking. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Uh, actually, I've been with Jonas kind of all night, so if anyone wants to switch up the batting order, I wouldn't exactly be... Yeah, obviously Alex is getting, or has been, sick of me for a while now, so for civility's sake... Don't be like that, Jonas. Come on. I'm just... I don't... <laughs> It's just that I've been staring at your face so much, I'm gonna be dreaming about clawing your eyes out tomorrow. What? That's a thing? Jesus, maybe we should split up. No, no, this is fine. I mean, why mess with success, right? All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me, I won't wanna know. Well, now I'm gonna run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No! Okay, are you... are you back to normal? I just saw... It, it, it was like a premonition, I think, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. I did? You stopped walking and started mumbling, and then your eyes lit up like little road flares. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider than. But the thing with Ren, it was so real. It was like it, I was there with him. Maybe we should go back. But I'm sure he's fine, so let's finish what we started. <laughs> no, look, it kind of made sense. Hey, guys. Uh, wait. Did I get the plan wrong? Because if I got it right... No, you didn't get it wrong. You're supposed to be yellow brick roading it to the wood station right about now. We're just taking this way, that's all. What, the scenic route? Everything's the scenic route. There's no quicker way. Uh, okay, well, we'll be here. Good luck. You know what time it is? It's four in the morning. Which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? What's your vote usually? In, uh, 
that situation. Uh, never leave pizza on the table. It's like getting 11 in blackjack. Just double down. Don't even think about it. You think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? It really doesn't matter if I think it's gonna work. It's sort of all we have, and we're running out of time. It is all we have, yeah. I just... I just wish I felt like the ghosts were concerned that their plan won't work. I just feel like they're pretty confident. Like they know by sunrise they're all gonna be shopping for school supplies. Jonas? They should be concerned. They should be scared. And that's on them if they're not. All right, good to hear. I think this um, stuff is getting pulled in from like their time or something. This is so weird. Um, yeah, it's not exactly a good omen. I think we're running out of runway here. I guess Maggie was the one who had this place turned into a park. the white-tailed tohi, a large sparrow indigenous to only this island. The roosting tree that stands before you is a 400-year-old red alder, famous since its discovery in 1655, when Franciscan friars noted that its unusually twisted trunk is bent true north. When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected, and in 1988, he succeeded. Now, Edwards Forest is an internationally recognized wildlife refuge and bird sanctuary, home to 120 bird species, most notably the white-tailed towhee, a large sparrow indigenous to only this island. The roosting tree that stands before you is a 400-year-old red alder, famous since its discovery in 1655 when Franciscan friars noted that its unusually twisted trunk is bent Now the station's up at the top of the hill. <sighs> I hope this works.
Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. <sighs> God, we're in another loop de loo. They always come at the most appropriate times, don't they? <sighs> yeah, they do. Thanks for the update. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Yep, I am also... hope that. Ren! No, no, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren, he's... He had an accident. He... He died. I couldn't... How? I, I mean, yeah, we just saw you. How, how did this happen? He... He drowned. He took a fall. I don't know. He just... He just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. And done, in this case, is particularly done. I know you're not Jonas, so there's no use in pretending. Soon it won't be a pretense. It'll be an absolute. Alex, we know you're in charge, and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. And you should take it. on earth would give you the idea that I'm in charge? It's been like herding puppies the entire night, making anyone do anything. Please drop the modesty. It's lying for no reason. It's already over with Clarissa. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But if you agree to let us take her, let her go quietly and without fuss, you won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reginald here. We leave the rest of you cattle alone. We only really need the one, anyway. No, no, no way! I'm saving everyone! Everyone is coming home with me. We're all getting out of here. <sighs> Courage is not always the way, dear. You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Hmm? <sighs> Fine. Shoot. How do you know? We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul's as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't intend to provide you all the rules. She thinks that the ghosts were pushed out of our reality and maybe aren't actually dead?
I know he was your best friend, Alex. I I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what happened. One minute he was there, and then he was just gone. It's okay, Nona. You, you didn't do anything wrong. I know it's not your fault. Of course, it's not your fault. I didn't know him that well, but I like what I'd gotten to know. I'm sorry. It's. I shouldn't. It's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here. This is. He was more important. No, no, come on. We can still crack this. I do not believe... I, I won't that he's gone forever. I, I just won't. I wish I had your faith in things. It's a tiny thing, but I hope he knew that I liked him. And I don't know if he did. He hopes you did. I think that's enough. Like I said, it's a tiny thing. The station's up at the top of the... Ugh. God, that was... My mouth feels like I just ate a tree. The ghosts, they tried to make, like, a deal with me for Clarissa's life. I, I didn't take it, of course, but... I don't know, I, I just thought you should know. God, that must mean they're getting desperate or something. If they had any, like, power over the situation, they wouldn't try to work out a compromise. Anyway... Hello? What? Are they? Oh, they're, um, they're somehow... I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the, uh, station speakers. <laughs> are you guys at the station? Anybody? Jonas? How are they, like, doing Jonas, that? punch uh, out so you can hear this. It's me. I mean, there has to be, like, a switch on their end Seriously, or something to right control the, uh, Jonas, talk box. Jonas, don't listen. We're all talk set box? here for the, uh, well, You know the what thing? I mean. The, the thing with the... Beacon with hug the or stuff. whatever we're doing. Yeah, let's do it! Time's a-wasted. Like, actually wasted. Like, I feel my body wasting away. No, it's, it's okay if you're, like, dealing with stuff. We had to deal with stuff. What stuff? The, uh, when I almost kind of slipped and fell off the bridge. Oh my god, you guys, that... No, it was this. It was psychotic to watch. Like, almost... Doesn't quite describe the terror that held my heart watching her come close. It wasn't that. You were perilously close to tumbling into the ocean from like 5,000 feet up. It wasn't that high. It was like, it was high. Believe me. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. No, it, uh, just whatever. I'm fine. She is fine. It's true. <laughs> Shut up. Hello. We're here. We made it. Hello. Oh, hello. This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? If you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist, please. Um, look, the, the ghosts told me they wanted to, to make a sort of deal for Clarissa. What? I said no, of course, but uh, I don't know. I just thought you guys should know before moving on. All right, well, let's do the, the thing and get into the shelter and try and fix this fast. Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Great. Okay, we'll meet you there. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and out.
idea, Mr. Jordan. Couldn't we have him reborn? Jonas! Okay, 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 I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think... Um... I think it's like reset. It's getting worse, Jonas. The sun's coming up soon. I think we're running out of time. Yeah. Um... Look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like... Just... Like, how do I say this? Because... I don't it's okay, Jonas. Just say what's on your brain. I just want to say, I just I think it would have been cool us living together for for whatever senior year. And I'm just glad I met you. That's all. I'm just glad we met. <laughs> I'm glad too. Okay, so there. It's out in the open. We're both glad. Okay, good. So that's it. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. And we're gonna be fine, by the way. There's no... You don't have to put it like... It would have been whatever to live together. We are gonna live together. And you're someday soon gonna eat all the peanut butter. And when I go make a sandwich, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> all right. George 3. Ah, it'll be good having somebody else here to watch after the grounds, Bill. I was at Park Warden in Grants Pass. So this will be old hat to me. William Marshall, a local park ranger working in Edwards Forest, killed himself today after what his wife describes as a years-long battle with depression. His body was found hanging from a tree in the... Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight. But, you know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. Huh? I didn't screw up. How was I supposed to know her mom was gonna call in the car stolen? I thought she had permission. Give me a break! Even if you didn't know, which, come on. Even if you didn't know that, you still knew you didn't have permission to go to the concert. <sighs> just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. However inadvertently, my little heart can't handle the excitement. It'll be the last time, but maybe not for the reasons you think. I don't really care about the reasons, just for my own sanity, don't do it anymore. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. <laughs> that sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something, but you, you know what I mean. Uh, commit? What the hell does that mean? You're in high school. <laughs> I know, I know. I sound like I'm 40, but I'm just, I don't know. It's gonna be, it's not gonna be casual anymore. It's gonna be a thing, a real thing. That's all, so just get used to her. That's all I'm saying. Come on, let's get to the century before the last boat comes. I gotta get the uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. What history project? They still make you do like work with so little left in the year? Unfortunately. This is, it's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kind of, I don't know. And I mean, it's funny, I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Same people, the same expressions. But everybody loved, everyone loves you here. You're like, I mean, you should hear how the teachers talk about you. I know how they talk about me. It's like, if I don't become a billionaire president, their life has been wasted. 
I know you think I have it on Easy Street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like, how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Give me a rest. Just don't put so much pressure on yourself, Michael. Who cares what they think? You're gonna... You're gonna do what you're gonna do. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Yes, I will. Uh, let's head back before Karen Strands is here. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? Uh, it was hard? I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him, <laughs> kind of almost touching. Oh my, how profound. I can't believe Uncle Pete's a mere failed actor and not teaching philosophy at Berkeley. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> oh, shut up. Alex? Shut up, shut... Uh, you got, you know, you went bad again. I couldn't get you out of it. We should really, we should get this done now. I'm fine. Let's, we can go. Let's go. Come on. It's all right. I think I can hear Ren and Nona down there. No, I just always do the poster. I mean, you get the option, right? The, there's an option to make a poster? Oh, definitely. Whose class are you in? Miss Underhill's? Oh, if you get... No, actually, it'll still work, even with her. <laughs> no way. Yes, way. It'll work, trust me. What are it... you talking about? Oh, uh, end of semester finals, AP English. You can game the system, and instead of writing a report, all you have to do is draw a poster of a fake book cover. Yeah, but the trick is you have to claim you're a kinesthetic learner. I have to make something with my hands, teacher, or... That's... Huh, that's pretty... that's good. You got Moxie. I'll have to do that next year. Well, I don't know. I kind of maybe ruined it for the rest of you since I used that excuse in like five classes already. <laughs> I... I want to get this off my chest. Just... something happened to us tonight, Alex. Something broke. I don't know if it was the ghosts or whatever, but you've been acting like not you. Ren. No, I just... I don't know. Well, I'm... Sorry, I don't... I don't know what else to say, really. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm even saying this now. This is stupid, but... Can we, like, take a picture? Why? I don't know. In case things go bad and somebody finds it or something. Yeah, let's do it. We're on a beach. Kind of. Let's keep a shred of normal here. All right, let's take it. Alex, get in here. You're not getting out of it. All right. Once we're in there, the door won't open again since the system's so convoluted. So make sure you're ready to finish this before we go inside. Oh, I know. Oof. Okay. I... Uh, all right. I am coming with you, you know. Yeah, yeah. Listen, Alex, I don't want to say anything to Ren or Nona, but the truth of it is I'm not feeling too awesome right now. It's kind of getting worse. Just hang in there, Jonas, okay? I know you feel like a garbage snowman right now, but we're almost done. Hey, what do you call a man who's short of time? Huh? Have you heard this one? 
Is this a joke? Yeah, it's a... What do you call a man that's short of time? Tim. You call him Tim. <laughs> oh. <sighs> yeah, it's not one of my finest. It's... It feels like wrong to see one of these when we're not in a, a time loop, right? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. It's kind of spooky, right? The beds? Thinking they would have slept here while the rest of us burned? Yeah, but do you think it would even have worked? Like, if... If Yugoslavia or whoever dropped an A-bomb on their heads, I don't know if this place would have held up. <sighs> Too late now anyway. I never got to try it out. Wait, it's... Oh, damn, it's another radio wave lock thing. Wait, before... Look, if something happens on the other side of this door, just... Don't be stupid. Cut and run, okay? If I turn into dead weight or start freaking out, just get to the boat. Do whatever you have to. Jonas, we're all getting out of here. I mean, look, we're about to fix this in two minutes. Two minutes. This is microwave popcorn of a problem. I'm not asking. I'm telling. Look, dream a little dream, buddy. It's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna leave you. Now, let's just get this door open, do what we gotta, and get home. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you know what? There's, there's like the tenth time we've heard this song all night. There is something going on with... Like, why would this specific tune be all over the place? I have to know what's going on before we head in there. I'm sorry. I so know this is, like, sensitive for you, Jonas, but we really don't have time to waste here, I don't think. Set a stopwatch. I won't take more than five minutes. It's, like, breaking or something. Can you... can you fix it? I mean, it's just so crazy to keep hearing this, right? It was like a tick she had. I don't know. It's... it sounds like it's her. Like a recording, or it's just... it's my mom. That's her voice in the static. You can hear that, right? I mean, I know you don't know what she sounded like, but you can hear that. The voice, right? I can kind of hear it. Is it possible? Do you, th do you think it's possible? I mean, we've been, like, talking with ghosts the entire night. Do you think it's like it could be, right? It's just, w with everything that's happened, she could have come here. It's possible. I mean, a lot's happened tonight in this general realm of craziness, so I'm not going to rule it out. God, she's like so close. You can just... Can you just try and tune in the signal? This tape player thing isn't even... I have no clue what's going on, but... If you could just help me with this right now. Uh, sure. I, I can... I can try, I guess. Yeah, because this... I don't know how to get this... Clearer, or whatever. I just can't... Just can't really get this to change, or... Uh, Mom, can you... Uh. Mom? Whoa. Uh, Alex? Jonas, wait! Jonas, where... Where did you go? Come back. You know, the truth is, we could have left whenever we wanted. We weren't prisoners of the cave. Not in whole. What are you talking about? You could leave? What does that mean? Us being here at all is a constant struggle. We've had our fingers we dug into the cliff's edge, waiting and trying to come back. Waiting and screaming at anyone who give us so much as a glance. You have to let go. You have to... What? 
Why haven't you just let yourself... Because it's scary, that's why. Have you ever stared into nothing and moved with it and felt a part in it? It's worse than when we were wilting into atoms. Worse than dying the first time. Yes, I have, actually. Oh, what? Sitting in your room breaking for your brother? You're like this one. Whatever you think you can do, you can't. We're not going back. We won't go back. Child, wait your turn. to close the hole I've come to to do what Maggie Adler tried to do 50 years ago all right <laughs> okay well it didn't work then why would it work now god you're so spoiled you don't even know the cost of things <laughs> closing the hole with your stupid toy will spare your your friends from our bloom sure but it will seal you up in here with us you'll die with us again and again so think long and hard about those friends. You're just trying to scare me. That isn't... That can't be the only way. One last chance. You don't have to die. You can leave, you know. Through the gate you opened. And we keep... The girl. Clarissa. So make your choice, quickly, while we still have patience to try. What? No way! I'm not... I'm not just gonna abandon Clarissa. Who do you think I am? Who do... Who do you think we are? Do you think we wanted to be thrown away? Like some faulty appliance? We won't let it end like that. We can't. Why would they do that if... If you were... They didn't care, child. It's sometimes that clean. We can feel this binding. You have maybe just a few moments left. We feel terrible, we do, but but you have to know why that everyone chose to forget about us. Everyone just shuttered us away into a back closet of their thoughts. Maggie remembered. She wanted to help you. It, it was all she did was, was try and figure out what had happened. We've watched her in every timeline. Watched her try and understand out of guilt maybe i don't know I, I won't presume to know but i'd like to think she just wanted to know you were okay you're a fool <laughs> oh getting started already okay you want to check with the void fuck we can see how long you stay on the throttle just don't blink Oh, you don't want this. Then get out of everybody and I'll stop. It's everyone or nothing, girl. Understand your situation and accept it. It won't hurt, we don't think. The change. <laughs> but we hope the trip was worth it. Same. Uh, depraved. Alexandra, wake up. This course of action will only save those morons, not yourself. Don't you understand? Wait. in 
is for my friends. Allison. Youth. It is the road of the middle. We all play. I same design. <laughs> Jonas! Jonas, where... Where are you? Okay, this is... This is gonna be fine. Just... Work through it. Don't tell Michael what to do about Clarissa, okay? But... Michael's... Dead. How could I even... Whoa, wait, what... What's happening? Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? Jonas, if you're still there, this would be a great time to say something. Don't let Jonas talk to his mom. It's not good for him. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What is... How is this possible? What's going on? Could have gone better. <sighs> right. Time loop. Tell Michael he should go to school here. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. Oh, hey, I didn't even know you were home. You're always so quiet. It's like living with a little fairy tale mouse. Wait, I'm... Th this is our house. I'm not. I can't play Amnesia Spy Girl right now. Seriously, pretend to snap Ren's neck on your own time. I've been, like, struggling with this stupid speech, the graduation thing. I don't want it to be just the usual blah blah we've come so far type stuff. It should have, like, a point, right? It should bring you to your feet about something. Uh, sure, yeah. Give it a theme. I'm guessing Mom probably told you about my scholarship to state, right? I don't really know how I feel about it. I mean, I feel it's not like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing, obviously. What is it? Don't want to go? Like, are you thinking of another school, or...? Nah, it'd be that school if it was going to be a school. It's just, you know, it seems like half the teachers are alumni, and... Actually, I'm about to be really arrogant and presumptuous and say mean things for no real reason other than I think I know better, so forget it. I've bored you enough. I'm boring me right now. I'm listening. Come on. I'm not gonna judge. No, no, really. I'm talking out of my ass. It's fine. Listen, here's the... <sighs> you can't tell mom or dad, but Clarissa and I are talking about just leaving. Getting an apartment somewhere and, and just doing our own thing, you know? Getting... What? Mike, you're kidding me, right? I mean... I know you said you were going to commit or whatever, but isn't running off like you're in Badlands taking it a bit far? Oh, come on. It's not that crazy. She's been really pushing for it, wanting to look for places, and uh, I'm into the idea. I really am. I just, I wouldn't feel right about it if I didn't have your, like, blessing first. So, can you just wave your hand over my head or something and say I'm all right to do this? I... God, it's hard for me to say since I love you, of course, but you should do it. Totally. Even if it explodes in a nuclear war-style breakup, you'll regret never trying. Thanks. That means a lot. Alex, just get good friends, okay? And when you're with those friends, just say yes to everything. And keep away from boys when you talk to them, it feels like you're performing. But also, stay away from girls who look you in the eye for too long. And match every beer with a water. 
and take classes outside of school. Classes you don't need. Um, okay. I'll make a, a checklist. This is just, this is a just-in-case package, okay? Just in case I'm not around. And I love you, and you're amazing, and that's it. So... I love you too. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Hey, she's waking up. Is she alright? Ugh. Ouch. Is, um... <clears throat> is everyone doing alright? Still, um, yourselves? Yeah, I think we're all accounted for, right? Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, my arm fell asleep, Jonas but... carried you here. Yeah, 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 okay. The, the important thing is, whatever you did in the cave, it worked. The tear, the hole, it's fixed. The ghosts are gone. We're going home. Or at least they've... they've stopped trying to eat our souls. Yeah, it's important to note that. Jonas, what happened to you in the shelter? I was so... I just saw you disappear. I didn't... I didn't know what to think. What happened? I thought I heard my mom. And when Alex, when we tried to tune into this signal, I was... I don't know what it looked like from your end, but... It was like I'd fallen into a memory with my dad. I don't know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have set us off course or whatever. I think... Jonas, I think that was your dad. Like, it was real. You were back then. That's... I mean, it felt real, so... I don't know. Maybe. No, I... had something like that, too. Did anyone else? Did anyone... I'm sorry, but like... Did anyone have dreams or whatever about the past when they were, uh... taken? During the night? Um... yeah. Yeah, a few. Just, um... just the one, I think. I saw, um... Michael. A, a few times, back when we were here on a... kind of an accidental trip. I had my older sister. It was a night where... I don't even remember why she was mad at me. Probably something I said to our mom. But I don't know why that who cares night would visit. I wouldn't put much thought into it, Clarissa. Really. Yeah, it doesn't matter now. Maybe it's... I don't know, maybe it's like what matters to us showed up or something. The universe doesn't care about what matters to us. Then it doesn't matter anyway. No, I guess it doesn't. I can't believe everything that happened. I just... I feel like we should tell everyone we know. Like, go on a freaking book tour, but... What? No, are you kidding? We have... Well, we don't have evidence of ghosts, but we know there's a continuation, a, a sort of life after death. This is like the moon landing times a billion. Yeah, but no one's gonna believe it, so... Is this... Rin, didn't you lose a book? Holy crap! This is it! Thank you! I lost it on the way. I thought for sure some commuter would have just tossed it overboard. Hey, that reminds me. What were we... We were talking about something stupid right before Alex woke up. Prom? Uh, uh, prom. 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 I am definitely skipping this one. I'm deferring the crown to that wheelchair girl. Are you going, Alex? Are we supposed to still spike the punch or just bring in flasks? I mean, do they even have punch? Uh, I guess. I mean, if I find a date, you know. I'm not gonna go stag. I have my dignity. Ben Owens will ask you. Or, rather, he's going to ask you unless I physically prevent him. Eh, you can do better. Come on, come with me and Nona. We'll go dress shopping. It'll be fun. It'll be like a movie montage, except none of us are prostitutes and there's no rich guy. Uh, sounds great. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should spiffy up once in my life. All right, just don't say phrases like that while we're out and we'll be solid. All right, you know what? It's picture time. Oh my god, come on. Nona. Oh, come on, what? We earned this one. <sighs> yeah, I guess we should. Tonight's been, um, noteworthy. Noteworthy. That is a way to say it. Yeah, I'd probably say it another way. Let's, um, let's actually move outside so we can get the light. Sure. Ren, what is that book, anyway? I don't know. I can hardly make heads or tails out of what the hell he's talking about half the time. Here's good for the... yeah, just here. Like, look. I'll just pick a random-ass page. Like, this, here. When I was younger, I could remember anything, whether it happened or not. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Okay, everyone. Wait, what? Cheese!
Before we'd left, I told my mom I was spending the night at a friend's house. And when I got back, I didn't see any reason to change that story. And you know what? I still don't. Ren always loved the town, but the island pretty much erased that in one fell swoop. He ended up going to college in California. He was my best friend, but I don't know if I'll ever see him again. Nona, I think, is going to some ballet academy somewhere. Clarissa left to study English literature. She was thinking of dropping out, but is keeping at it for now. We talk sometimes. Rarely, but sometimes. I hear she's scared of the ocean now. And she got a dog, too, if you care. Jonas was the first to introduce me as his sister. You know, without the step part in front of it. And it was weird at first, but it's the truth. He's my brother. He goes to school in town, and we see each other a lot. It's funny. What happened on the island used to pop into my head every single day. And then every other day. And then a week went by, and I realized I hadn't thought about it at all. I guess that's... I don't know. It's good, I think. But anyways, I, um... Well... If it matters. I decided to stay in town and go to college here. It's practically up the road, and... I just wanted something familiar, I guess. But anyways, what time is it? <gasps> yeah, sorry, I gotta run or I'll miss the ferry. Ren's dragging me out to Edwards Island for that yearly beach party thing. And I have to pick up what's-his-name Jonas, too. <sighs> I hope he's not weird or mean or something. Whatever, I'm sure it'll be fun. It's something to do, right? <laughs>